Hello, my very most beautiful Leos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are gonna be doing your February weekly reading. This reading is going to go from the 14th through the 20th. Now it is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So guys, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Leos. Please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Leo's energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. the strength card oh, man. the world card are you kidding me and the tower in the reverse all four of your cards um, major arcanas wow this is really powerful let's take a look at the bottom of the deck and see what we've got going on okay we got the nine of cups here so let's take a look at this this is wow this is intense energy my loves There's something here i do i do feel like you guys do have a wish okay i do feel like you do have a wish there's something here that you guys are trying to find the strength to overcome you know and i feel like that is what this major wish is that you guys are having is to be able to you know overcome something to be able to you know gain control of the situation to to make it through something to have the strength to do so we're going to take a look we're going to grab another deck and take a look at your person's energy and see what is going on with them so we can maybe get a better idea about the situation um but this is intense guys so in your thought space we have the emperor wanting to you know wanting to be able to be in control over the situation not wanting it to um take control over you okay especially with that tower in the reverse for your action okay um there's something here i feel like you're trying to per kind of prevent a tower moment from happening or trying to kind of recover from one okay and just finding the strength to do it especially on this side of the card you know there's two different depictions of the strength card and the one that you guys got um they have slightly different very like meaning and variations for me as a reader now this one is like almost like finding the strength to battle against something here okay something that's either some kind of like something that's toxic okay with it showing up as the devil or just something that you struggle with or even some kind of fears okay um that devil energy showing up in here so you know in your heart you want to have the strength to overcome whatever this is to um to keep this from falling apart is what this looks like that's your wish is to to be able to overcome this even the world card you know, this is a, um, you know, it's a closing of cycles, beginning of cycles, but it's also an accomplishment, okay? The world is also an accomplishment. So I do, I feel like that's your true intention. You, There is something major here with this connection that you do very strongly, very powerfully feel that you guys can overcome this, okay? Absolutely. So let's take a look and see what's going on with the person that you're dealing with. The emperor is also wearing his armor. You know, it really does talk about, even though he's seated, so even though he's not taking action at this time, that he's ready for action. I um, mean, you know, he's ready at any given time. And I feel like that's something that's important to recognize. I feel like you are, you know, you are ready. You are getting yourself ready, you know. Wow. You can't even make this stuff up. So they have the emperor as well for their first card out. The lovers in the reverse. The tower. Are you guys kidding me? So they also have three out of, well, you have four major arcanas. They have three out of four. This is having a major impact on you. Um, you know, this is not clickbaity. It sounds very cliche, but um, this is a lot of very intense, very powerful energy, guys. So, you know, this is a very significant period for you guys, okay? And it's having a major effect on them as well. At the bottom of the deck, they have the three of pentacles. You have the nine of cups. So... You know, to me, this could be coming up with a plan, wanting to work on something. You know, I feel like they do. You know, they have the nine of wands here as well. So there's a the devil. There's a the hermit in the reverse. Seven of wands in the reverse. So letting the guard down, okay? Um, letting, some, letting their guard down, letting their defenses down. You know, 
coming out of a period of time, trying to overcome some kind of devil energy here. The Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups in the reverse says that they're not ready to walk away from this either. Or they're not ready for this to be the end either. Um, it says that they're not ready to let go. They're not ready to give up. Okay, because the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. This could be working together, coming up with a plan to make something happen here. So let's take a look. You know, I do. I feel like they're trying to get into this Emperor energy as well, where... Um, you guys are just figuring it out, like almost like a bossing up energy. Like, how can we make this work? How can we overcome this? You know, it it feels like, uh, you know, separating isn't an option, okay? It's like you guys are both like, you know what? We love each other. We want this to work. You know, not being together isn't an option. How are we going to fix this? You know, that's kind of this energy, and it's very, very powerful here. Okay, the lovers in the reverse. There's definitely been some kind of disconnect here, and I feel like a decision needs to be made when it comes to this connection. Um but I also feel like it's representing a turning point. I do feel like, you know, this time period, especially with all of this, you know, um, in energy, I do feel like this is a major turning point in your guys' connection where you both um, are really coming together on the same page, really wanting the same thing and figuring out how to make that happen. Okay. Um, so even though there has been disconnect, you know, a disconnect here, um, this is also a major turning point for you guys where you guys realize how much how much you actually want this and what you're willing to do to make it work on um, the tower in the reverse for them as well um you know that's their true intention intention they don't want this to be the end they don't want this to fall apart okay um the five of cups they're grieving okay they're hurting um they're disappointed with the way that things are as i feel like you are too in a lot of ways this is you guys are mirroring each other um you both want this this is a very very powerful time for you guys to figure out um, where you guys are going to go from here. So the guys, keep in mind that these are just weekly energies, okay? So these are not like permanent outcomes, but it does look like this week that you guys are coming to this place, whether you guys are in separation or whether you're still together, okay? If you guys are in separation, which some of you could be with this energy, okay? Um, some of you guys could be. You guys are both coming to the same awareness, to the same place this week of, you know, we don't want to be apart. You know, we want to make this work. You know, we both have these very strong feelings and we are both willing to do what it takes in order to accomplish that. Okay. That's that emperor world card energy, the strength card stepping in as well. You know, it's like, you know, not being with each other isn't an option. So what are we going to do? How are we going to make this work? You know, that's the awareness that you guys are both coming to. That's the place that you guys are both coming to. Whether you guys are in a connection um, and you guys are choosing to continue to be so and do whatever it takes to make this work. Or whether you guys are separated and, and both coming to that on your own, which I also feel like is a really beautiful thing in order to come together to make this work. You know, that's your wish, okay? Um, and they're ready to put it to action. They're ready to they're ready to make a plan. They don't want this either. So I I mean I feel like this is a very powerful time. I think this is a very this is having a major impact on you guys um in in a lot of big ways. Okay. It's not just uh you know, this it's not just a little thing. It's you guys both really having some big big recognition, some big, big awarenesses about how much each other means to each other. Okay. How much you guys mean to each other, how much you both truly want this. Um, so this is a very, very powerful reading. Um, you know, this is really beautiful. I can't wait to see where this is going, um, but you guys are both coming to the same page, the same awarenesses, and you both want the same things here. Um, this is very powerful. Um, so that is what I have for you guys, my loves. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus will actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.